Engineer 775 at the uh, site for the river pump. We're going to try to install here. Got pretty good flow. Had pretty decent rain. Um, in our drought conditions, we've had about half that flow, but it'll still be enough. We're going to try to set the river pump out here. Probably out here where there's not so much turbulence. I'm going to cable back. So, this is great. Good spot, I hope, for the river pump. Alright folks, the river pump is in and it's turning. We've got it anchored off back here. We've got a happy customer staring at his new river pump. And the other happy customers on the hill shooting a video as well. We're, we've set it in a couple different places, but it's turning real nice here. Um, that blue PEX line is pumping water. Maybe uh, I'm going to get Ben to pick that thing up and show you how it works. Because it, it gets a little bit of air, and then water, then air on each stroke. Each rotation, I should say. And so it's, uh, you see the water. All right, we're going to add some pipes to this uh, PEX line now to see how she performs. We're going to do about 100 foot at a time and just keep working our way up the hill. Probably got about a 45 foot lift. With this, this pump will go 80 feet straight up. So um, we will uh, we'll be checking on it during bad weather. And this right now is just a, we got it anchored back here. We're about four foot in the ground with that stake cabled off. And we can also, if it's really bad weather, Got a safety cable. We can pull her, pull it out of the out of the creek. It's really bad weather coming. So it's a way to take a you know a low low head river or stream and find a place where it necks down. If you have the, this on your property, this is awesome. This used to be an old railroad bed here. It used to be a railroad bed here, and uh, it just makes a perfect channel for the for the river pump. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this one. Absolutely. This is an Archimedes screw. Look at this thing spitting water up here. Probably already got about 20 PSI right there. Maybe more. It's a, just a great spot. Great pump. So this is going to take care of this uh, location with all their gardening needs. Um, they could go through this if they had to, take care of their livestock, any orchards. I'm going to pump this into some cisterns on the top of the hill and then gravity feed wherever they need the water. All right, Engineer 775, signed off. I'm going to shoot some footage up here. Here come the happy campers. <laughs> Got their pump in the water. And it's not so loud up here. Maybe you can hear me. But she's full of water now and she's pumping water. We're going to just put about 120 feet of line on it. They got a long ways to go, but that's not a problem for the pump. So it's kind of a perfect spot to let her just sit there and work. Let's go see how the water's coming out the end. Probably gonna do about a gallon a minute at this speed, but we'll measure it. The key is to get it to the top of the hill and then take a measurement. So if you've got a place, um, like this and you, you're probably saying hey I know a place that this would work at um, this might be what you need to handle all your irrigation needs so I think that that's about it we're gonna do a little bit of work I know there's a concern about things coming down the river and hitting it but it is it's pretty forgiving because it'll move and we've got it cabled off so it can bump and you know it's pretty tough so we'll just have to see if we hear there's 10 inches of rain coming, we're going to pull her out of the river. So that's, that's it. Okay, having fun in the water. Engineer 775 signing off. Let's go see this one. Okay, we're only about uh, 15 feet above the pump right here. And you see how it surges because that's what, how the pump works. It picks up air and water on each stroke, each uh, rotation. And uh, it's doing great. Awesome. All right, very good. Still happy camper? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, up to the top of the hill we go. I think we've got another 30 feet to, to climb up there. But what we want to do, and one of the key things is, is to make sure we're probably going to run this without burying it first, but we'll know at each 100 foot section that there's that it's still running. Because if there's a high spot and it traps air, it will stop this thing from pumping. Um, All right, that's it. 
Alright, they're trying to run things down through here now. They're trying to stop her. We got some branches in it. We're th they're throwing all sorts of crap in here. Got rid of that one. Cycled it out. They cycled it out. Now they're just throwing junk in there just to prove me wrong. Trees, branches. Can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> oh, oh man, come on. He's throwing a tree in now. He's trying to kill the pump. There, take that. Trying to kill kill the poor river pump. First, just been in 10 minutes and they're throwing trees at it. Pump abuse. All right, they managed to stop it. They threw enough branches in here to get her to uh, churn up, but it wasn't a it wasn't a it was a man-made event. Weapons of mass destruction thrown at it. Oh.